Our next guest, thanks James, has done it all. Before acting, David Wenham sold insurance. He photographed racehorses, even called bingo at an RSL. The talented Australian won our hearts as diving down in sea change. Oh, love that. Now, he's a major player in Hollywood, but he hasn't forgotten his roots. David is back on Aussie TV with another brilliant performance. David Wenham is a jack of all trades. Australia fell in love with him as Diver Dan on Sea Change. He was barely recognisable in Getting Square. Look, I'm not smart or nothing. I only went to junior at school. He obliterated vampires in Van Helsing, became public enemy number one alongside Johnny Depp, made us want to do crunches in 300, and was hanging with hobbits in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I know you bastards. I assume you got a warrant. Oh, yeah. Don't worry your little face about that, he's got the warrant. And now David portrays disgraced criminal lawyer Andrew Fraser in his most controversial role yet. I've got a new client, big heroin dealer, Dennis Allen. Mad as a bloody meat axe. A lot of business there, Dan. Like keeping heroin dealers out of jail. That's nice. Well, any time you want to compare income, Sally. <laughs> and David Wenham joins us now. David, good morning. Good Thank morning. you so much for, for joining us. Uh, it's so great to meet you. You have had such a varied career. There's no danger of ever being typecast, is there? What, what attracts you to, to keep on doing such different roles? Um, oh, look, um, I suppose always the, the quality of the script. If there's something that fascinates me or intrigues me about the, um, the character, uh, count me in. And in this particular case, Andrew Fraser is such a fascinating guy. He's had the most extraordinary life. He, um, he was the, the go-to number one lawyer in, a, in Australia, I think, in the 80s for anybody involved in, uh, you crime. Know, in crime, crime, yes. And then he, uh, he had the most almighty fall due to a very nasty coke habit and spent five years in jail. His life is, yeah, it reads like a John Grisham novel, so. Do you still have pictures of racehorses hanging in your house anywhere, David? Uh, no, 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 I think you're referring to the fact that I filmed the trots there to put myself through uh, drama school, but no, 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 those days are gone. Can I just say that I, I, what I love about the about show, and Australia is fascinated with uh, true crime, and I committed true crime to steal the DVD off somebody's desk because of two names. One, yours, and you know how much I love you, and Ian David, who was yeah. responsible for Blue Murder, one of the great pieces of Australian TV. Is that what gets you in, that kind of talent? Yeah, undoubtedly. I had a meeting with, um, with Ian and one of the producers, I think about six months before we shot the series, and he spoke oh, for probably about two hours about, um, about Andrew's life, and then I was presented with Andrew's two books. I read them. Completely compelling. So the Ian David, Catherine Thompson, another um, great Australian writer, Peter Androcletes, who set up the, um, the show as a director. He directed the first Underbelly and East West 101. It's that sort of pedigree of people. And it's like, yeah, count me in. Do you, um, do you, did you speak to Andrew before? And when you're getting into character for something like this, for someone who's still around and such a colourful character. Do yeah. you talk to them? And, you know? uh, not initially. I, um, I made a decision not to. I read um, both of Andrew's uh, books, which are absolutely compelling. They're, you, you pick, they're like an airport uh, book. You pick them up and you, you want to finish them in one, um, one session. So I read them. Then I watched a lot of footage of Andrew. Um, and I made a decision not to meet him, just so I could be a little bit removed. Mm. But then once we were filming, I decided to meet Andrew because there were things about him that I did want to know. And I'm glad I did. He's, a, he's truly a fascinating, compelling character. Slightly different preparation for you then. Uh, sex, drugs, kind of rock and roll in this mm. role. I'm but not method. No, uh, no, no, of course. Yeah, in this of course. Yeah. But in something like 300, it was all ab oh, work. Com in completely that. method there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So you didn't have to do any of that kind of physical stuff. Do you, when you're faced with those challenges, do you love it? I did, well, 300, uh, yes, that was, uh, that was a bit of a nightmare, actually. Um, five months of intense training, and yeah, that, that was difficult, but I'm, you know, I reaped the rewards. Uh, I'm certainly not that fit now and never will be again. <laughs> but in terms of the physical preparation for this role, Ed, you sh Andrew does age over that period of time yeah. um, considerably, so I had to uh, sort of work on how I was going to do that in a very limited period of time, which was tricky. Yeah. Okay. Um, really, really quickly, because we have to. What's next for you? What can we see? Uh, just begun shooting a, a, a telly movie called Dripping in Chocolate, which is cool. essentially a whodunit, a fun little project cool. um, with a, a wonderful uh, English actress called Louise Lombard. All right. David Wenham, thank you so much. Killing Time is a sensational yeah. bit of work. Very quick mention for David Wenham's new show, Killing Time. It begins on TV One next Wednesday at 8.30. It Check is it out. brilliant. I've seen about the first four episodes. Sensational. Yeah. And he's Telly. sensational. He's yeah. I was a bit oh, flustered really? seeing him in I was, here. I was going to ask Ooh. you, Sammy. Were we mm. a bit excited about can't seeing... Can't you tell? I got a little bit, you know, uh, can't speak.